And her Valencia wants a little bit of help from his Chilean teammate and Eduardo Vargas. Now we're officially underway. 180 minutes ahead, 90 minutes here at Estadio Universitario. We'll go 25 minutes down the road next week for the second leg of this final. The grace period is going to be a bit longer than most other finals. As Monterey trying to find an opening here. Hurtado thought he had an opening. Quickly closed down. Here's Pabon. He's going to whip one in, but easy enough to handle for Nahuel Guzman. That's just pretty much what these types of rivalries do offer. Expect the unexpected. Valencia. Duenas, first time delivery. Not a bad one, but Barovero is there. Outside of the March 9th meeting, which finished in a 1-1 draw. Ooh, big mistake here. It is a mistake, and it's Hurtado trying to capitalize on it. Hurtado, Pabon. Darlin Pabon Guzman with a terrific save. And Tigres able to get rid of it. It's the static reaction with which Tigres was able to respond to this mistake that ends up creating the opportunity. All defenders stood there while Darlin Pabon had the ball. Fortunately for them, really no one else tried to open themselves up. So do not be surprised if Ander Pierre Ginac comes through offside. Pabon, good ball forward. Onside, here's Sanchez, it's off the post! Our first true chance of the game and our first Woodwork sighting. He's on. Yeah, just yeah, on. He's just on. Right there, but then again, that shows you how quick Mont We've been talking about how Tigres has been the... Yeah, we, we just, just turn off the lights and yeah. go home. Yeah, no, <laughs> totally. But when you see a player complaining, you go, what? Here's Pabon. Another good delivery. It's Sanchez! Monterey strike first! And it's Nico Sanchez, the ever-dangerous center back. 1-0 to Monterey right before halftime. Right here, let's see what Nico Right there, great job by Sanchez. It wasn't, a, see ladies and gentlemen, that play right there is not about going forward, it's about being able to get off your mark. Nico Sanchez, seeing that the defender's more defending with his arms than with his eyes and with his body, is able to just shift over to the left. 1-0 for Rayados. And that is your center back, ladies and gentlemen. And don't forget, he was the hero. Almost turned villain against Alianza. As Enter Valencia almost was able to get that one off, including the deflection. Barovero, a good kick save. And now a corner kick coming up for Tigre. It's the aggregate is the aggregate is the aggregate. Carioca now. Not a bad ball in one by Vargas, but it's just over the bar. Too soon? I don't know about too soon, but... Not soon enough. I thought it was, I thought it was <laughs> never enough <laughs> as the first half comes to an end. Monterey have been the better team, created more chances. Nicolas Sanchez has also struck the post. Nahuel Guzman is forced to make a save as well. And we're officially underway in the second half the, from Tigres. Salcedo. Luis Quinones, not a bad ball in. Vargas was trying to turn. Here's Carioca. And it's straight into the hands of Barovero. If that's anywhere else, it's probably fine in the back of the net. So coming on is going to be Jurgen Dam. And he's going to come on, on, and Edu Vargas comes off. And on comes Andre Pierre Gignac for the first time in the 2019 edition of Scotiabank CONCACAF Champions League. Talk about what these changes can signify. It's Valencia, the save from Barovero. Jurgen Dom tried to whip it back across, and a corner kick coming up for Tigres. Good heads up play there. Barovero didn't want any comp. Pizarro. Now it's Duenas. Quinones back for Duenas. Dangerous here. The save from Barovero, the follow up from Dom. Not quite good enough the entire first half. Good opportunity, good development here by Tigres. Just slapping that ball away, Barovero. Creating all types of complications. And again, speaking of complication. Layun, not a bad ball in. Hurtado straight into the hands of Guzman. The flag stayed down. And he got flipped <laughs> oh, for right about 2.7 million. And he, as he salutes. The Tigres faithful. That, that's, again, one of the keys that Monterrey's been able to really neutralize as far as Tigres' attack is concerned. Jurgen Dama swinging a miss. Here's a lofted attempt 
And it's an ambitious one at that. Let's see a great little nutmeg. Layun trying to recover. Quinones now battling with Medina. Two Colombians going at it. Quinones still with it. And Barovero cleans up the entire mess. Zinyak trying to turn. He's going to let one fly, and Barovero can hold on to it safely. Now it's Dom again. Trying to get it on his right foot this time. Not a bad delivery. Here's Pizarro. Containment type of players. Mangione, of course, in the back. He can also serve his function. Mangione scored the lone goal for Monterrey this past Saturday, Friday night. Originally from Monterrey, a local boy, and replaced Carlos Rodriguez. And he really has not seen a whole lot of time, whether it be in Liga MX or in Scotiabank CONCACAF Champions. And Funes Mori, the lone goal for Tigres was courtesy of offside. Gignac, Barovero punches it aside. Order in the process. Barovero was calling the offside, but the referee decided. It also stated a case for, for Stefan Medina and the assignments that he's had to deal with and had to incur throughout. Here's Gignac, he got a touch to it, but it's just wide. He is an absolute poacher. Been terrific tonight, as Juan mentioned, both center backs for Monterrey have done it. And Monterrey does the job at Estadio Universitario. It's an excellent result for Diego Alonso's side. Nicolas Sanchez with the game winner in the 43rd.